let's talk about both food shopping. By bulk food shopping, I do not mean going to Costco and buying in bulk that way. I'm talking about bringing your own containers to a store that has bulk bins. Bulk food shopping is not only great for the environment because by bringing your own container, you are reducing plastic waste. But if you care about aesthetics, if you open your kitchen cabinet, it looks beautiful. And that's always a plus, in my opinion. Bulk food shopping can be a lot cheaper because you are only paying for the food and not the packaging. You are able to try some foods you maybe you've never tried, but you can get a really small amount of it, therefore not committing to a larger amount and paying less. And also, if you need an ingredient for, let's say, a recipe that you're making, you can buy just the amount that you need for the recipe. So an example of that is when I got some cornmeal because I needed it to make some corn muffins, which I do not need make that much but I only paid like 30 cents for the cornmeal and also cranberries that I needed for a recipe I didn't have to buy like a big bag of it I was a little bit lost when I first started bulk food shopping to be honest I'm gonna talk about some things that I wish I knew before I went bulk food shopping for the first time so I hope this helps you out so my first tip is to call ahead not all stores that have bulk bins will allow you to bring your own containers which I find that that defeats the purpose of bulk food shopping. My local Whole Foods does not allow you to bring your own container, so that's why I go to Sprouts instead. My second tip is to go to the cash register first with your empty containers, so they can weigh it empty, and then you can write the weight on the top of the container. And then once you fill it up, they can subtract the tear amount. That's a really important tip if you don't want to pay for the price of the container as well, which could be very heavy if you use mason jars like I do. I use my Dymo Boss label maker and I just made labels for the weight of the empty containers because that number is not going to change. This large one when it's empty is 0.98 pounds. These smaller ones when they're empty is 0.57 pounds. Bring a dry erase marker. This will be your best friend if you want to write on your containers without making it permanent. Permanent. The way that the cashier knows what each item is, is you write down the PLU number and you can see that it says 6333. You can find the number easily on the label of each bulk bin. It's pretty much the only number that's going to be on there. And the reason why I use the dry erase marker is because I don't have to fill up the same item in the container every single time. Let's say I need cornmeal this first time and the next time I'm going to fill it up with sugar then it's going to be a different number on top so you see that number I could just easily wipe it off like that. For my next tip is to bring reusable produce bags. You can either buy these online, I see them on Amazon. I randomly made these one night. I used a flat sheet that I'm not using and some leftover macrame string that I had. It took an embarrassing amount of time because I don't have a sewing machine. <laughs> if you do have a sewing machine, it will take you probably two seconds. Yeah. I also made some smaller ones. Oh, another trick for this is once you fill it up with rice or some grain like that, you don't want it to spill out, obviously. <laughs> I will just wrap it around and tie it. So just another thing, I got these containers from Target. I bought a whole pack of them because I use them for other things around my place if you watch my apartment tour videos. I use them as drinking cups too so that's why I bought packs of it but you can just use things like empty pasta containers and stuff like that so you don't have to go out and buy containers just to go bulk food shopping. I just try to plan out what I want to buy and I will bring the appropriate amount of containers for that. And it's actually not too heavy for me to bring these glass jars. I just bring it in my Trader Joe's reusable grocery bag. This is kind of cushiony because it's lined inside. I find that it kind of makes a cushion around the jar so they won't break. I use these bigger ones for things like grains that I will need a lot more of, such as rice, because I keep my rice in a container like this. This is a massive mason jar. You don't want to bring a container this large because you'll probably break it and it's just going to weigh you down. I just fill up the rice with this and then they do have these tags there. Not every single employee knows how to deal with bulk foods and that's just been my experience. I've had a couple instances where I basically held up a line and I felt bad about it even though I shouldn't have because 
this is what the store is kind of meant to do or well, at least the bulk food section is meant to do the most recent time i went was yesterday and i had an employee who didn't know how to subtract the tear amount of my container i basically had to wait for her to get three different employees until one of them finally knew how to do it not much you can do about that just be patient make sure they're actually subtracting the tear amount if you're actually paying for the stuff inside and this actual container it's gonna cost you a whole lot more in my most recent grocery trip i went to sprouts and i only paid 77 cents for this amount of oats i got these almonds and i paid 278 for it and i actually got 5.73 pounds of rice which doesn't all fit in this large container that i keep my rice in because i actually use this to bring it home and i overestimated but for that amount of rice i only paid 453 for it I got some veggie chips and I, I filled up this entire jar and I paid $3.90 for it. It is pricey because it's actually $9.99 a pound for this specific snack, but I don't get it all the time. These are just the things that I wish I knew before I went bulk food shopping and I hope they help you out. So let me know if you've ever gone bulk food shopping or if you're going to go for the first time. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!